with giving you inspiration, uh, maybe you want to do something different or maybe you want to add a little bit to maybe last year's festival as well. Zanele is standing by this morning. We are hanging out with Lorraine, giving us some uh, beautiful advice. Zanele, take it away. Yes. Oh, I got you, my lovely, and of course, Expresso family. We're getting into this five-day festival that is celebrated all throughout the world, Diwali, and it is all about the triumph of good over evil, light over darkness, and it is a spiritual experience that is also all about spending time with your loved ones. So how do you do so? You sit at a table, you have a good time, you make food. This is what Lorraine has been teaching us, but right about now, we want to find out what is the best way that we can set these tables for Diwali. My Lorraine, are you still good? <laughs> I'm still good. That's good. My tamarind and thyme queen, this looks stunning. Already I'm taken away. Please tell me, you know, especially in terms of you and your choices, how did you decide that you were going to bring together these flowers and just the settings and everything? Okay, so Diwali is a very vibrant, joyful occasion. Yes. And I wanted to bring in lots of colour. So I used the orange and green. Yeah. That's why I got the Wilwood's candles. Nice. That's green and the flowers um, that are saffron. Um, so that, and actually flowers brings a freshness to the table and it brings about, it brings elegance to the yes. table. So that's why I've used that. And as you can see, I've used very simple uh, tablecloth and very simple napkins because we've got so much going on here with the flowers mm. and the colours. Yes. So I want to keep that simple. And also the colours that I chose brings warmth. So that's why I chose this. Yeah. I like to create a warm, inviting table. Mm. And then we've got um, some gold accents. Yeah. Um, that's where we brought in the gold cutlery. And then we've got some texture going on here. As you can see, the place mats um, are textured. It's very beautiful. And um, yes, and also Diwali is all about lights. Yeah. So that's where we've got lots of candles. Mm. And we've also uh, used some dias because that's what we use during Diwali. Yeah. And then you also need lots of platters and bowls to serve your guests. And Woolworths has got a, an amazing range. As you can see, I love this platter. It's a yeah. copper one. Yeah. And it's I think beautiful. that's your favorite. That is my favorite. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. Yes. And as you can see, even the flowers I've used, these are actually copper dishes. I've used them as vases. Mm -hmm. And they just make such a, an amazing vase for the flowers. Stunning. Um, and yeah, and so that's what I've really created. Yeah, and I think you want your guests to really feel joy when they're at your 100%. table. And I think that's what I've created on this table, joy. I feel joyful just looking at it, and it looks yes. really, really beautiful. Thank you. Uh, one thing I'm really loving is the detail of the napkins. How did you do yes. this? Because this is incredible. So I made a little rose yes. because I wanted uh, to be a little bit extra. <laughs> I love that. I'm all about extra girls. So I'm with you. So mm. It's very simple. So you just make a little triangle mm -hmm. with your napkin, and you sort of just roll this. It's very, very easy. Okay. It looks like you've spent hours doing it, but really It really not does, because so. it's a perfect yes, rose. So once you roll it, and then you bring this part, and you start rolling it again. It's all about rolling. Yes. And then you roll... And you're creating a rose oh, here now. Oh, nice. Yes. But you even have flowers on the side. I'm actually intrigued to see how that's going to turn out. Yes. Because so. how did you get it? an entire, I mean, leaves on the side? For yes, leaves. leaves. It's very yes. simple. So you tuck this in. Okay. Uh, so because you don't want any pieces popping out. Mm. So that holds the rose together. Yeah. And that's popped in. And then you oh. turn it around. See, I've created a rose. And there are the leaves. <laughs> and then there's the leaves. That is so How cute. How cute is this? I'm obsessed. Well, there we go. Oh, Sana, <laughs> people are going to come to my house and they're going to wonder, how did I do it? Well, darling, <laughs> absolutely love this. And I also know that a lot of people are always looking for different ways to make their table setting just a little bit unique. And for me, that's a perfect touch for it that. Is, yes. But now, Lorraine, I need you to speak to me just about also, you know, the way in which we are able to allow our table setting just to really shine, right? Talk to me about your three favorite items that you always have for your Diwali table. So flowers. Flowers is number one on my list. Okay. <laughs> because I absolutely love flowers. There's something about flowers that just makes me happy. Mm. So the more flowers, the merrier. Yes. And of course, I love beautiful cutlery. And this gold is just up my alley. I love the gold cutlery. Yes, it's so that's gorgeous. another thing. Mm. And I also love having placemats. Yes. And, I, and as you can see, I love the texture of these placemats. And I love the little rustic feel of it. Mm. So I also don't like things to be too formal. Okay. I like like a bit of mixy matchy and a little bit more casual feel because I also feel when it's too formal, the dinner table becomes a bit stiff. Yes, so, and it is the festival of lights. Yes, after all. so you want people to make memories and conversations to flow, yeah. but you don't want people to be sitting, sitting there all stiff, thinking they mustn't move anything around. Yes. So I want it to be really casual and a happy place. I like that. <laughs> and just in terms of you know the the setting as well, I know that sometimes people have different colors that have different meanings, right? Yes. So for example, for me in my Kosa culture, we've got beads. 
and beads have different meanings. Uh, when we talk about Diwali, are there any colors that kind of stick out where you'd be like, okay, I'll use those color flowers because they mean this or they mean that, or it's just any colors go? You know, you don't, you know Diwali is all, all about bold, bright colors. Mm. So you can choose any bold, bright color, but the colors that I've chosen, the saffron um, is symbolizes purity yes. and it's also fire. Okay. Um, and the green is like purity and renewal. It's like you, you're going into a new year, so the green represents renewal. Mm. Um, so I think in, in terms of that, that's why I've chosen those two colors. Yes. But usually you don't really think about the colors too much because you really want to make it, as I said, very casual. So you don't want to put too much thought into it, mm. but it also must look pretty. Yes. And if, it, if you are really set on having some meaning to it, then yes, you will choose specific colors. And normally it's like the red, yellows, oranges, mm. those bright colors. Yes. And I like keeping... The Wally bright and beautiful. Uh, a, a festival of lights, like we said. And yes. I definitely think that you do that so well in terms of how you've actually put this together. But also for me, I'm kind of looking at this and I'm like, okay, if there's somebody who's like, you know what, I don't want candles necessarily. You know, maybe I'm looking at something else. What kind of lights would you put? Would fairy lights or anything work you on, can, on top yes, of your table? You can, yes. You can also put like little leaves as runners and put some fairy lights in between. Yes. I think that will look really pretty. Mm. You don't always have to go with flowers. And sometimes people feel like flowers get in the way um, of your conversations and they don't want too much flowers. But as you can yes. see, also the height makes a difference. I haven't got these flowers too high. Mm. And it's also nice to have some different heights in your um, flowers when you pop it in. So it yeah. creates a bit of interest. You don't want it too boring. Yes. Um, so yeah, you can use leaves. You can you, you can also just have little vases, a mixture of little vases. Yeah. And you can pop flowers in there. Nice. So that also doesn't obstruct your view of your guests, but you it still looks pretty. Obstruct the view, it too. It, at least it's a pretty view. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, that, that, that's what I say. Like, <laughs> let's, let's take it to the top. Why not? Especially because Woolies always has really great flowers. They do. Yeah. But uh, talk to me about this because there's so many different things that go into Diwali. You know, as we kind of wrap it up uh, in terms of our conversation, what for you is your favorite thing about Diwali and just in terms of celebrating and particularly the things that you're even able to get from Woolies as well? I think the eating definitely. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I love that. That's my girl. That's my girl. It's definitely the eating for you. Yeah, and I love making, you know, I don't eat a lot of sweet treats in the year. I've mm. got a bit of a sweet tooth, but not that much. But when it comes to the Wally time, I do you make a lot of sweet treats and it just gives yeah. me joy making them and sharing them with everybody. Aww, you are so <laughs> sweet, Lorraine. Well, my babe, happy Diwali to thank you, you so and the much. family. And thank you so much for just coming and letting us know so much more. I think it's really, really beautiful and we appreciate you. Thank you so much thank for having you, me. Thank you, of course. And of course, to each and every one of you, our Expresso family who is celebrating Diwali, may light just light your path and may you continue to be able to celebrate Diwali in the best way possible. And one of those ways is by getting everything that you need from Woolies. They've got you from the flowers to the candles to the placemat settings to the food. Everything you need under one roof like we told you to have the perfect Diwali celebration. Now on the way I want to give you a reason to stick around right which is why we're going to be getting into allergies and kind of being able to tackle them a little bit better than you normally do whilst traveling. And speaking of travel Zanzibar is on everyone's tongue. Why? Tropical Island of Treasure Zanzibar. And we've got Stacey Gossain who's going to be telling us about her beautiful time in the country that we absolutely love when we talk about getting to be able to have that tropical, delicious experience, my friend. Do not go anywhere. It's coming up right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Oh.